Hi, my name is Luis Torres Torija. I'm a physician and a specialist in quality and patient safety with an MBA degree. Currently, I'm doing a master's in public health at the University of North Carolina and serving as an ambassador of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in Mexico. My area of practice is in clinical settings where I, where I have collaborated with hospitals in Latin America on CQI interventions to reduce the risk of medical errors. What inspired me was the fact of continuing to develop skills and knowledge in a global environment related to patient safety. I saw that the fellowship will give me the possibility to share experiences and reflections with experts across the globe. From my first approach with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, I realized how valuable it is to have professionals from different contexts and cultures to reduce the learning curve and develop solutions adapted to our specific context. And it is something that I was undoubtedly able to find during the fellowship. Well, we developed skills through collaboration and teamwork to put into practice in our region. We had the chance to participate in webinars, summits, and conferences with experts in the topic. There was a lot of progress from the professional point of view, but also what I have been able to apply in my country, where, for example, the project that I have been able to develop is focused on understanding the factors involved with a culture of safety, and our first step was to have a better sense on what healthcare personnel about feels about patient safety through the ideas, beliefs, and attitudes in a country like Mexico, with so much diversity in the different segments of health. Our thought process was that if we seek to generate changes, we need to take into account the situation of the context to achieve them. We seek the support of the staff but we do not take into account that for many of them, the issues related to CQI and patient safety are relatively new. That is why through this national project, we've obtained valuable information for a second phase to be able to develop a patient safety curricular plan for health professionals. So I can say that overall, we achieve a lot during this uh, year a year and a half in, in the fellowship and we have the follow-up also with the, the staff of the patient safety movement for the next steps to come well there's still a lot to learn and understand if we want to improve patient safety and i say this in a positive sense since the reflections that we had during the fellowship made us rethink the way in which we will approach situations taking into account the different factors that are involved, the economical, social, cultural, that have an impact on patient safety processes, like the importance of knowing that we expect perfect professionals in the healthcare settings, but they are in imperfect systems. In the same way, I took away how valuable it was to be able to work with people from different parts of the world. Part of what makes this fellowship so valuable lies precisely in that the networking that we were able to generate and the platform that the fellowship gave us to continue working in improving patient safety in our regions and across the world. I really like all the topics. We were able to learn about the importance of skills, specific like leadership, uh, but also about the factors related to culture of safety, human factors, and even some new topics for us like safety 2.0. All vital topics to learn to aspire to achieve change in the healthcare industry. We were able to share our experiences, our barriers, our challenges, but also our solutions. So to have the opportunity to share our thoughts with this very important group was very important for us and was really a learning experience that I can recommend to all 
healthcare personnel interest in, in quality and patient safety to take this road to continue your learning process. Well, following the, the, the same response, I will encourage all the healthcare personnel to take this route of continue in the preparation on the skills related to patient safety. We, we are few that still are working in these topics and, and we need to align all the efforts possible to the different stakeholders. So this is a, a very unique experience where you will have the chance to collaborate with experts in the topic and learn different ways to uh, uh, try to solve some, uh, problems that are really common no matter the part of the world you are. In.